hey what's up you guys it is me favorite girl stephanie chanel and welcome back to my channel so today you guys we are going to be doing a zara haul for you and this is the perfume edition um so over the weekend zara dropped about eight or more new fragrances um there's no discovery set for this particular line and i was not about to buy eight perfumes um now there were a few that did look quite appealing to me and after getting them it's no wonder they were appealing to me it's so amazing how this worked out um i was looking at the notes you know zara won't give you like the full you know breakdown of notes but they'll give you a few and so on these, this is called the minimalistic line, I believe, or the minimalist line, something like that. Um, I'll put the title up here somewhere. So I got the one fluid ounce in these three fragrances. I almost picked up five. There was one that I didn't feel the need to pick up. It is like a layering or booster, like a fragrance enhancing fragrance or a fragrance enhancing perfume. And... Uh, to me, I just believe that it's a musk and I have cloud musk from mix bar, which I use to enhance my perfumes anyway. So I didn't really feel the need to pick that up, but I love the fact that Zara has that because on my own, I craft my very own fragrance enhancers. Um, and it's normally like a vanilla and musk mixture. Uh, if you guys are interested in figuring out or seeing how I create my very own perfume enhancers, um, definitely let me know in the comment section because I have absolutely no problem sharing it with you guys. It's very simple. Uh, you just kind of have to put the work in, but it's very simple. It takes a couple of seconds. It's really not, it's really not anything that hard. Anyway, um, yes, so... I picked up three fragrances. Now, my boxes look janky, y'all, because I have been in these fragrances, okay? But I picked up three of them. So I have Spirited Romance, I have Splendid Bronze, and I have Velvet Shadow. Um, so without further ado, y'all, let's just go ahead and talk about it because I don't even know what to say. Okay, <laughs> so let's go ahead and start off with this first one. It is called Spirited Romance. This is what the box looks like. And it is called In to the Floral, right? The box on this is really nice. I love this one because they give you a beautiful synopsis of the fragrance. Synopsis is the word, right? I believe so. And then on the side, I don't know if it'll pick it up. Is it upside down? Uh, there it is. It says Into the Floral on the side here. I think that is so beautiful. And then on the back, they give you a little picture and they give you some notes here. So this is called Into the Floral. This is number two out of, I guess, the floral part of this collection. And this is called Spirited Romance. It is an eau de parfum. And the little breakdown or summary of it says, Spirited Romance. The fragrance brings an immediate pleasure on top, combining the luminous freshness of bergamot with the natural green facets of hyacinth and honeysuckle. In the heart, a passionate white floral bouquet in voluptuous bloom blends with the powdery signature of iris and the delicacy of rose. The warm intonations of blonde woods mingle with the mag... Why can't I speak? The warm intonations of blonde woods mingle with the magnetism of balms and add a final sensual touch. Why was that so hard to read just now? I felt like elementary stuff was coming back, y'all. Oh my God. In elementary, I used to have a hard time reading and like comprehending. And I literally, I was like, what the heck did I just read? And I, as you all saw, I was, I was struggling. Um, so shout out to my big sis because y'all, my sister helped me out so much. She taught me how to read really, really well. She taught me how to comprehend. Like, my sister is dope, okay? If you have an older sister, big ups your, your older sister because they probably did more for you than you actually notice until you're, like, older. And then you're like, yo, you helped me with this. Like, you taught me that. So, anyway, 
why am I so sidetracked today? I put a little strip in here. Um, and I sprayed these fragrances early this morning before taking my daughter to school. So took it out of the box. This is what the, let me put it on this side. This is what the packaging looks like. It's very simple, very minimalistic. It's very pretty. And I think that this was just look really, really nice on your vanity because it's just minimalistic i i love it and i actually do love the fact that they went with silver and not gold writing because black and silver just looks really really pretty i mean black and gold looks gorgeous but i'm more of like a white and gold kind of girl um so i do love the fact that they went silver on this one um it's very minimalistic i would have loved to see like a little silver detailing down here at the bottom but again minimalistic you can hold the perfume by the top these things are not going anywhere they are very snug fit tops and i do love this hexagon uh like cap now the cap is plastic as we know with zara i would have loved to see zara imprinted on the cap that's kind of like my only issue really with the packaging i would have loved to see something saying zara right here but i guess because this is a minimalistic line um they just went as minimal as possible with this packaging which i'm okay with just as long as you don't go minimal on the fragrance and they did not so i sprayed this fragrance on here at it had to be like maybe seven o'clock this morning it is currently almost 11 o'clock a.m so about four hours ago i sprayed this strip guys when i tell you this fragrance is so strong on here Oh my God, I love this. So this is Spirited Romance. So the notes as we read on here, let's get the box. The notes are Honeysuckle, White Floral Bouquet, and White Musk. And just trying to grab some of the notes off of this little summary right here. We're going to see some bergamot. We're going to see some green notes, hyacinth, some honeysuckle. Um, it's a white floral bouquet with some rose then there's blonde woods and then i don't know what bombs okay so anyway so then there's blonde woods so you guys when i smelled this fragrance for the very first time i said guys wait a minute hold up wait a second stephanie think about this this is a dupe for something and i was like so in love with the scent now i don't love florals but i love this floral so much it's a very sophisticated very classy very elegant white floral this to me smells like money so when i smelled this fragrance i immediately knew that this was a dupe for something that i have been wanting for a very long time and that is jador's dior now how do i say this jador parfum de eau de eau from dior so instead of eau de parfum it's j'adore parfums de eau something like that y'all know i don't i don't know how to speak french y'all i don't know but <laughs> that so that has notes and i have it written down here it has notes of jasmine sandback green notes honeysuckle magnolia neroli and rose and what did we say this has in common with it so we know that it has the honeysuckle it says it has a white floral bouquet which magnolia neroli all white florals um it said that it had white musk, which um, to me could be that wood kind of smooth note in there. Um, and this definitely has a slight green touch to it, which it does say that. It has the natural green facets of hyacinth and honeysuckle. So this is 110% a dupe for Dior's j'adore parfum de eau when you wear this fragrance you basically have your life put together like this fragrance just smells like your life is put together it smells like you have money in the bank it smells like you're carefree like you just are not bound by work and bills and life is just not life and hard for you right you're living a soft very elegant uh sophisticated yet fun life 
Okay, so the next fragrance that we're going to go ahead and talk about is Into the Gourmand. Well, instead of Into the Floral, it is the Into, Into the Gourmand. This is number two out of the Gourmand fragrances. And this is Splendid Bronze. Now, Splendid Bronze is noted as a gourmand, and it has fragrance notes of jasmine, orchid flower, and black vanilla. Um, same packaging, so we don't have to go over that. But the breakdown on the side says, that Splendid Bronze is an alluring and charming, well, I'm sorry, it says Splendid Bronze, alluring and charming, an overdose of sexiness, irresistibly sensual and deliciously addictive, a sublime floral aura, jasmine, orange flower, heliotrope, orchid flower, heightened with the magnetic note of cashmere woods and black vanilla. Y'all. So this is Splendid Bronze. We love a good deep colored juice, um, but I wonder if this is going to get deeper uh, because it does have a nice vanilla in here. So this is Splendid Bronze, and I do have I do have the paper here. Now, oh my God, you guys, could you tell what this must be a dupe for? Can you tell? This is. A Dupe for Alien by Terry Mugler. Okay, you guys, so I'm actually here editing and I'm going to put the notes for <clears throat> a fragrance right here. It, this is called Alien uh, O Extraordinaire or something like that. This is what this particular Zara fragrance is, I think, duping. If you look at the notes, they seem very similar. I'm going to leave the notes right here. You can pause the video and just take a look at it. Um, but the heliotrope, the vanilla, the jasmine. Um, what are the other notes? The jasmine, the cashmere. All of these notes are very similar. I had to pull it up on my computer. All these notes are very similar to extraordinaire, alien extraordinaire. So... Even though, yes, it does have like that alien DNA because alien is one of those ones that one of those fragrances that the flankers are really just a little sprinkle of something to zhuzh it up um, or take it up a notch because alien is already complex on its own. And they just kind of take little things and add something else and they keep that same alien DNA. Well, up until alien goddess, but that's not what this is about. Um, all the prior alien flankers have just been the same dna just a little added something they add a little more sexiness they take away a little sexiness they make it more of an everyday wear kind of things like that um and so yes still this splendid bronze is like an alien dupe but if we want to get technical i do feel as though it is closer to Alien Extraordinaire. I think that's what it's called. Oh, Extraordinaire or just Alien Extraordinaire. I don't remember. But this one right here. So enjoy the rest of the video. So the notes for uh, Alien are Jasmine, Sandback, Cashmere, and Amber. And then the notes off of this we read were Jasmine. Then there's the Orange Flower, the Heliotrope, Orchid Flower. And then there's Cashmere Woods and Black Vanilla. You guys, when I tell you this smells so good. Okay, this is about a 90% dupe for Alien by Terry Mugler. Guys, this is so good. Now, I will say that there is something a little green in the background. And I'm not too sure what that green note could be. Maybe the heliotrope. But, y'all, it is such a smooth... <laughs> this is such a smooth dry down. The, that cashmere wood, it's beautiful, you guys. Oh, if you love Alien, you will love this. I could stay on this forever, forever. Um, that is probably, this, this thing is about to be done up. It's about to be done up. I feel so sorry for this bottle of perfume this coming uh, fall and winter. This has great projection, okay? It projected off of me kind of beast mode for a good three hours. Um, and then after that, no, it wasn't a skin scent, but it left a bubble. <clears throat> it left a bubble around me. 
a decent bubble at that. It does linger. It does not enter the room before you after about three hours. But in those first three hours, y'all, this thing walked right into the room, cleared the way for me <laughs> so that I can take a seat at the table. You understand what I'm saying? Like everybody knew I was coming when I had this on. And I kid you not, you guys, I sprayed this on and then I went to the grocery store and I had people following me, legit following me when I was wearing this. So take it how you want to. I am, I'm only the messenger, but y'all, before I load this video, I will be ordering a backup bottle of this for sure. Cause y'all girls are not getting this. Okay. Last but not least, we have velvet shadow. Now, Velvet Shadow kind of took me by surprise because in my mind, I knew what it was going to smell like from the notes, but I'm shocked, okay? So the notes that they list on the back are bergamot, jasmine, and marshmallow. We already know, right? So it says Velvet Shadow. This cloud-like fragrance is delicate. This cloud-like fragrance why can't I say this? This cloud-like fragrance is a delicate interplay between the crispness of mandarin, the airiness of jasmine, and the fluffiness of marshmallow, creating an inviting, almost tactile experience. Offering a sense of comfort and familiarity, it captures the essence of a tender cuddle and the feeling of closeness that it inspires. You guys, Velvet Freaking Shadow is you guessed it, okay? None other than Killian Love Don't Be Shy. However, however, there is like, this is one of those cross mixes. Like this is Killian Love Don't Be Shy and Perfumes de Marley Oriana. And they just kind of crossed them. Now, the reason why I say it's kind of a cross between them, this does smell really beautiful and it does smell like love don't be shy. Oh my God. This is a very beautiful, fluffy, sweet, floral, gourmand, orange, cake-like. It's just some of all of that, right? Ah, oh. so freaking good. Okay. Really quickly, the notes for Love Don't Be Shy are neroli, bergamot, pink pepper, coriander, and orange blossom. Okay, so I'm not really sure why I stopped at orange blossom, but the notes for Love Don't Be Shy, top notes are neroli, bergamot, pink pepper, and coriander. The middle notes are orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine, iris, and rose. And then the base notes mm, are sugar, caramel, vanilla, musk, civet, and labdanum. I'm not sure why I stopped at Orange Blossom because this fragrance got a lot going on, but it works. Okay, it works. That's why I say that this is kind of a dupe for Oriana. But to me, that marshmallow note, it's a little bit different because Love Don't Be Shy does not have a marshmallow note. Marshmallow note. I believe that the caramel and the sugar kind of come together and create that. But one big difference between Love Don't Be Shy and Oriana is the musk. That musk from that civet. Okay, it is so heavy and thick and dense and just, it can be overpowering at some times. This has more of a bright, citrusy, fluffy fragrance. And there is a slight musk in here, but nowhere near as heavy as Killian's love don't be shy in my opinion I am going to stick to my guns and say that this is a crossbred a crossbreed between love don't be shy and Oriana I feel like they just took the essence of Oriana took some essence of love don't be shy and mashed it together where it was supposed to be in the first place this could be shy Rihanna <laughs> so they call it a velvet shadow I call it shy Rihanna Oh, this is so, so, so beautiful, you guys. I'm definitely getting another bottle of this. Do I think I need a big bottle? Probably not, but I love the scent profile, you guys. I mean, hands down, this is some good juice. I don't have anything else to say. Like, 
It's fluffy, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's citrus, it's floral. It's amazing. It's just everything. It's so, so, so good. And for $15.99, I believe I will take another one. And I mean, for $29.99, I believe I'll take the big bottle. I don't like big bottles in my collection because it becomes overwhelming. I have a lot of big bottles. And when I don't see myself making dents, I get frustrated and I get rid of the fragrance. Um, I declutter a lot of big bottles of my perfume, even though I like the fragrance a lot. If I have a big bottle and it's just not denting up, like, I don't, I don't like that. I love to see my dents. So I like to buy smaller bottles. So I do believe that I'm going to repurchase all three of these, um, just to make sure that I have my backups because, <sighs> wow. Oh, this is so good. I have something on my arm today, so I, I mean, on my body right now, so I can't spray this, but y'all, this is so, so, so good. All right, you guys, that is the end of my video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I am sorry for rambling on and on and on, but y'all, these fragrances are top tier. I kid you not. They are so amazing. I really hope that you guys get to try them out. If you do, let me know down below in the comments section. Did you try them out? Did you try out some of the other ones? Do you love them? I have one more fragrance coming. It's from the men's section. It's coming in the mail. It'll be here tomorrow. I cannot wait to get my hands on that because I got some ideas and thoughts about what that's going to be like. But you guys, if you enjoyed this particular video, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Drop your comments down below. Smash the subscribe button. While you're at it, click that notification bell. That way you never miss another video from me, your favorite girl, Stephanie Chanel. And I will see you in another one.